three, testify. All right. <laughs> this is kind of a little thing, but it's a gift that has been given to me as part of this. And I thought I'd share it just in case it happens to any of you. Um, Dan and I had a thing about lucid dreaming. We were always trying to teach each other how to lucid dream, and so if he'd find me asleep, he would always come up to me and whisper, Fairy, you're dreaming right now. This is it. Look around. You know, try to get it. <laughs> and he'd be the character in my dream that's sitting there going, Hmm, what's wrong with this picture? What's the last thing you remember happening in the day? Why are we sitting on the roof of your old elementary school at night, right? Like, trying to break me through. And I woke up from a dream of him the other morning, just crying like a baby and thinking, oh God, this is going to keep happening. I'm going to just keep having dreams that he's in. And then waking up and remembering. And I talked about it with Joe. And we realized that, oh no, this is awesome. I dream about him all the time. And he would love to be the key to lucidity. If you see him, you can fly. If you see Dan, you have superpowers right now. And I know I'm going to see him all the time. And I bet if you open your hearts to it, he will come into your dreams, whether there's some kind of real he's on the astral plane or just because you have such a bright, beautiful model of him in your head. And I bet you can get that. And then since you're lucid, you can hang out with him, you know, because we got such a great model of him. He'll say new Dan things. <laughs> but, <laughs> anyway, it's a, it's a tiny gift, but, you know, a little tiny jewel that he left behind. So um, I just wanted to share it. Ever high.